y'all good morning uh it is tuesday april 28th and it is a little bit before seven um house with kiddos depending on uh, how early they go to bed uh they get up quite early <laughs> so my kiddos especially have been early risers since the very beginning sawyer is like between 6 and 6 30 is when he wakes up every single morning i mean even the days we put him to bed 10 o'clock or later even like disney park days where he goes and goes and goes and then we put him to bed and we think oh man he's exhausted he's gonna sleep in tomorrow he doesn't so he and his little friend had a, a sleepover his first ever i suppose um with a sleeping bag and a friend in the room and they took a little while to fall asleep of course but then um i know his friend would have slept in much later <laughs> but Toyer was awake and waking his friend up at 6 30. so i came down to make coffee because i think i'm gonna need it today um the girls i think are still sleeping put one of them in a pack and play down in our finished basement bedroom and then uh, Vivian of course is up in her room in her crib so I think the plan for today is uh, pancakes for breakfast coffee 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 for my husband and I I should have shown you how I made it uh, we are for the French press is so good we used to do Keurig we still have a Keurig as you can see there um, but I use it more for hot water and teas and then when my when we have guests come to stay, I usually buy some K cups and stuff to keep them stocked for our guests. But for my husband and I, we finish up a French press every day, um, and we grind our own beans. And then um, today I put a little sprinkle of cinnamon in the pot to give some flavor to the coffee ground. So it should be good. I'm sure I will enjoy it sipping here and there while I run after kiddos. So uh, our friends should be able to come home from the hospital today. They're only keeping healthy moms and babies about 24 hours instead of the standard 48. So we should see them sometime today and we should be a family of four again instead of a family of uh, six with two extra kiddos. So, all right, the morning is going as predicted. We had a big pancake breakfast. I have a giant mug of coffee and I'm about three quarters of the way through. The kitchen has been trashed as is usual from breakfast. So that will be my project later today is to retidy the kitchen. The kids are playing pretty nicely. We've got one little one sitting on the couch reading a stack of books and the other three are out here um, with the piano, little toy piano dancing. There's my Vivian and the boys are here playing the music and dancing too so Ready? are you dancing Phoebe yeah what a dancer I, I don't want to around and around huh where she stops nobody knows nobody knows so that's what we're up to this morning it is uh, 8.30, we've done a couple of preschool videos. I like to do those with the kids in the morning, um, kind of right after breakfast. So we've done that already. Welcome back to my laundry room. I am putting a big load of laundry in from the weekend. Um, uh, mixed colors mostly. We did a lot of yard work on Saturday and so we got some muddy clothes that really needed to be done. So hopefully today I'll move on and I'll get that um, other load from yesterday folded and then this one will be um, washed and dried. Potentially if I'm like doing excellent it will also get folded today but uh, it's going to be a definite double load. It's a full full load in our hamper of kind of like muddy mixed colors from the weekend. So just loading that right now. Muddy, muddy, muddy jeans, sandy, sandy play clothes.
You gonna help me? Can I hold you? Yeah, I'll help. Let you. So this is pretty full loads. I'm gonna go ahead and fill to the second line for two loads. You wanna help? Hold it tight. I'm gonna help too. Okay. Ready? I'll put open the little door for you to help me. Oh, thank you. Shake, shake, shake. Good job. I want to do a beat. We're going to let Whitley do the beat so she gets a turn. Okay, Mom. A beat. Mm-hmm. Hold it tight, tight, tight. Hold it tight, 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 Whitley. Hold it tight, tight, tight. All right. Pour it in. Good job. Shake, shake, shake. Good job. Me. That's all. Now we're going to start it. Who wants to hit the button? Me. You want to hit the button? Can you reach this button right here? This big button. This little button. Power. Okay. And then you hit this button one time for normal. Okay. Now, Wendy, you can hit the button to start. This button right here. The big one in the middle. That one. Good job. I'm just going to make a little tea for myself. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Vivi's taking her nap. My other little guy is playing. And our two friends have gone home to their home. So baby and mom are home safe. And I wanted to show you. This is my favorite mug. It should show you a little bit of my sense of humor. We got it at the Animal Kingdom Lodge last time. And it's all these little giraffes. And then, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, giraffe jam. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. Every time I drink out of it, it makes me laugh. So we're gonna have some tea. Sawyer and I will have some apple juice. We're gonna have some English breakfast for an afternoon tea, like a proper British person. Sawyer and I sat down for a little afternoon tea, didn't we, buddy? Mm-hmm. How do you like that cupcake? Uh-huh. Is it good? You've got icing on your nose. Oh my goodness. And my tea and my cupcake are ready to go. I put just a splash of cream and some sugar in my tea. So we will leave you sitting here watching this cute kid eat his cupcake. Oh, we're going to eat the icing off the top. You can. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. I think the cake is my favorite part. You like the icing better or the cake? The cake is that. Ma'am? Do you like vanilla cake? Or chocolate cake. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Which one? Chocolate cake or vanilla cake? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. I, I have. I would do some time. Okay, so that was our little tea time. Um, like I said, Vivian is taking her nap and Sawyer has been playing quietly. We read a whole stack of books. He watched a couple Mickey shorts and now we had a little spot of tea. And um, I think I'm just gonna take it easy after being up in the middle of the night, um, Monday, early, early Monday when the baby was, was coming and then sleeping on their couch for a couple hours. And then having uh, four kiddos under the age of four for over 24 hours here in the house. I'm feeling a little tired. I think the only thing I have on my list today is all that laundry to get done. Uh, I still need to get that tackled and folded. Uh, I might do that when my husband's done with work today. Uh, he's been working from home, like most people uh, that can. Working from home for the last... Um, you know, a handful of weeks, but he typically works from home. The only day he actually ends up going into the city 
um, is typically Wednesday, so we are pretty spoiled to have him around. And since there is no commute, the moment that he's done with work, he usually jumps in and helps me. So uh, I'll probably fold the laundry then and kind of take a mental break. And the rest of the day, just kind of cozy up on the couch. Uh, Vivian will wake up in a you know 30 and 40 minutes or so, and then the chaos will begin again. So anyway, cheers. <laughs> Don't scare her. Hello, Vivi, honey. How's my girl? She didn't poop on the pie, Mommy. No, she didn't. Hey, little. Hi, little hun bun. Were you in bed reading books? Hi, see girl. You reading Good Night Train? Yeah. There's a baby. There's a baby? Oh my good. A teddy? Oh my goodness. Let's get you out of there. All right, so we woke up Vivian and the kids are playing quietly up here with me. It's kind of a cold day. We usually try to go for a walk, but um, it's cold and rainy. And we might get a chance to sneak out for a little bit, but right now we're just kind of relaxing and resting and being home. This is Vivi's little room and Sawyer is down here on the floor beside me in his mismatched jammies and dinosaur slippers doing a little Minnie Mouse kind of puzzle from Melissa and Doug. Vivi is over there working on a little puppy toy and you can see we're potty potty training this little love. The only time she has her diaper on is at naps and bedtime and it's going pretty well. She actually did great. We used this um, time home for coronavirus to uh, to potty train. She was actually potty trained before her second birthday which I feel like was pretty good because Sawyer uh, bless his heart, it ended up taking him till, I don't know, two and a half to really even start wanting to try. And so I feel like he was three before we made super, super good progress. But anyway, everybody's kids are different. Every kiddo is different and they do it at their own pace. But it's kind of nice to only have diapers twice a day now. And I think we could probably get away with not putting a diaper on during nap time. She wakes up half the time pretty dry. But the other half of the time, I have to do a load of laundry and change out sheets and, uh, you know, uh, pee pads and things like that. So it's just not really worth it for me right now. So. Yes, Vivi? Do you have your little puppy? You want to turn him on? <laughs> your hair, you woke up with crazy hair. You woke up with crazy hair. You woke up with crazy hair. You gonna turn his little tail? And look at his little ears turn. My key ring when I move. <laughs> Hurt your face, huh? Yeah. What baby? You want to put some lotion on it? Are you doing different outfits? Mm -hmm. As Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse's outfits. Are you funny? Is Minnie Mouse your favorite? Mm -hmm. She's so nice, isn't she? She's kind and helpful. I need help. You need help? All right, little turkey. You want to put a little lotion on that little sore? Yeah. Right here. I have it right here. We got. The, you've got the right one, baby. Come here. This one, right here. Vivi, 
Oh, don't put it in your mouth. She fell. Come here. And scuffed her little cheek pretty good right there. Poor baby. <laughs> oh, good with it. Yeah, you look gorgeous. You do look gorgeous. So I've been putting uh, lotion on it, that eczema therapy lotion uh, that I love for kiddos. Um, so she's been getting a little extra dab of that. Too close. Sorry. All right. So we decided to take a little walk. It never really warmed up. But it's not raining, so we'll take it, right? Right, loves? Yeah. This is our Zoe double stroller. And these are the cutest kids I know. They have their little slippers on. Sometimes when they're not getting out of the stroller, I put these on them just to keep their feet warm. Don't don't bother the the uh, the new handlebar. Wee! It is a nice day. There's the front of our house there. We did some work mulching and putting flowers in. So we're just gonna enjoy a breezy, cool walk. It's very quiet. I love how you can hear the birds. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot, not too cold. Not raining right now. There's the side of our house. We live in a big corner lot. Thankfully, we have a fence. We had that installed the first year we moved in. So the pup can run and the kids can play without me worrying they're gonna wander off. What are you doing? What are you doing, Sawyer? What are you, Vivi? Are you a pirate? We had uh, finished our walk. It was lovely. 
and the kids got to play out in the backyard for a little bit still pretty cool and they always go straight to like the water <laughs> puddles and things and their hands get cold this is Vivi's little room I picked it up just so I could show it to you a little bit better it's got a big feature wall with these jellyfish my husband actually bought the stencil and did it himself and I love it it's like a silver gray wall has a bluish tint this time of night and then these jellies are kind of like a purpley pink and then her sweet little crib she is old enough now for a toddler rail and we just need to bite the bullet and do that and then she's got like a little toy box with some little treasures there over here um, her room is this giant room above our two car garage so I feel like it wasn't insulated well. So we have a little space heater here to keep her room toasty, especially in the colder months. And then these wonderful shelves that we've got with little knickknacks and things and a house plant for fresh air in her room. These were Pottery Barn curtains as well. A purple ombre. And she's got these nice windows here. We've brought this little picnic table and her farm set in here and she likes to sit there and play this rocker was a pottery barn it was our big splurge when she was born it is so comfortable my husband and I when we sit down there we don't ever want to get up and then this was her announcement pillow my husband surprised me with this both for Sawyer and for Vivian so there's Vivian's all the details how big she was and what day time she was born and her birthday and then the little West Virginia with a tiny little heart where we live on that part of West Virginia. And then that afghan was hand crocheted for her. A couple little, it's just kind of got a beachy theme to her room, so a couple little details. Coral and some sea shells. And then her view out here to the front of the house. Her changing table with totes for diapers and wipes. And uh, she's quickly outgrowing it, which is great because we think we're done with two and I have plans to repurpose this bad boy into a bar cart when I no longer need a changing table. And then this little bit of art here is just a frame with her little last year pictures of her. She's gotten so much bigger now, but it's got that kind of driftwood feel. And then another curtain here leading to the hallway, big, big closet space. And I'm not very organized, but you know that by now. So I'll let you take a peek in here. Um, it's got loads of shelving space. Up here we put shoes and extra blankets and things, hanging clothes, folded clothes. And then all these diaper boxes and white boxes are clothes, that are clothes from you know, her past sizes that she's gotten too big for that we start putting away. And this plastic tote here is actually her neck size. So as we see things on sale, we buy those things and put them away for as she gets bigger. And then of course you saw this little potty earlier. She is learning to go potty. So that's her little potty chair in her room. And then these towels go here on this anchor hook. So that's pretty much Vivian's little room. And I'm going to go get them out of the bath, and Diego is making dinner, so we are going to um, go down and have dinner. And boy, I look rough. <laughs> Mom did not get a shower today. The kids always, always, always get a bath uh, right before dinner or right after. We're, like, faithful about it, and I still think it's funny that some days... I don't make it into the shower myself and they always get a bath, but such is the mom life. So I'm gonna grab them from the bathtub and go get dinner and I will probably talk with you guys tomorrow. I think my husband and I just plan on lounging on the couch after they go to bed. I've been watching Suits and I've been kind of into it and I'm in like the sixth season. So I think I have one more episode left and then gotta get that disc back to Netflix. So that's probably what we'll do tonight, but I, I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.